Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 240. Common Hematologic Drug Reactions. What is agranulocytosis? Agranulocytosis is the failure of bone marrow to make enough white blood cells. Name all the drugs that causes agranulocytosis. The drugs that causes agranulocytosis includes clozapine, carbamazepine, colchicine, propylthiouracil, methamazole, and dapsone. What is the mnemonic to help you remember drugs that causes agranulocytosis? The mnemonic is to remember agranulocytosis could certainly cause pretty major damage. So that's agranulocytosis, could is for clozapine, certainly is for carbamazepine, cause is for colchicine, pretty is for propylthiouracil, major is for methamazole, and damage is for dapsone. What is aplastic anemia? Aplastic anemia is the deficiency of all types of blood cells which is caused by the failure of bone marrow development. So remember, agranulocytosis is the deficiency in the white blood cells, whereas aplastic anemia is the deficiency in all the blood cells. Name all the drugs that causes aplastic anemia. The drugs that can cause aplastic anemia includes chloramphenicol, benzene, NSAIDs, which are the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, along with propylthiouracil and methamazole. What is hemolytic anemia? Hemolytic anemia is a form of anemia due to hemolysis. What does it mean by direct Coombs positive hemolytic anemia? If it's direct Coombs positive hemolytic anemia, that means the hemolysis is caused by immune process. Another way of saying this would be that this is an autoimmune hemolytic anemia. Name the drugs that can cause direct Coombs positive hemolytic anemia. The drugs that can cause direct Coombs positive hemolytic anemia includes methyl dopa and penicillin. Name the drug that can cause gray baby syndrome. The drug that can cause gray baby syndrome is chloramphenicol. Why does gray baby syndrome occur when taking the drug chloramphenicol? The reason gray baby syndrome occurs when using the drug chloramphenicol is because with chloramphenicol there is a lack of glucuronidation reaction that occurs in the baby. Name all the drugs that causes hemolysis and glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency. The drugs that causes hemolysis in G6PD deficient patients includes isoniazid, which is INH, sulfonamides, primaquin, aspirin, ibuprofen, and nitrofurantoin. What is the mnemonic to help you remember drugs that causes hemolysis in G6PD deficient patients? The mnemonic is to remember hemolysis is pain. So that's I is for isoniazid, S is for sulfonamides, P is for primaquin, A is for aspirin, I is for ibuprofen, and N is for nitrofurantoin. What is megaloblastic anemia? Megaloblastic anemia is anemia characterized by many large immature and dysfunctional red blood cells. Name all the drugs that can cause megaloblastic anemia. The drugs that can cause megaloblastic anemia includes phenytoin, methotrexate, and sulfa drugs. What is the mnemonic to help you remember drugs that can cause megaloblastic anemia? The mnemonic is to remember have a blast with PMS, so that's P for phenytoin, M for methotrexate, and S for sulfa drugs. Name the drugs that can cause thrombotic complications. The drugs that can cause thrombotic complications are the OCPs, which are the oral contraceptives such as estrogen. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.